Hey what's happening you one Sir James coming at you guys with another video and today I'm here to showcase another armor set in the Destiny 2 Forsaken DLC known as the Dragonfly Regalia. Now in order to acquire this armor set is actually acquired one of three ways. Option number one is that you can go ahead and spend real life cash currency for in-game currency and buy these packages. Option number two, which the next two options by the way are the free method which is every time you level up past level 50, you will actually get one of these engrams, which is the steadfast engram, and you'll have a chance to acquire a piece of gear or any of the other following items. There's a ton of different things here. So if you get the chance, basically kind of browse around, there's actually some cool stuff in here, especially in the emotes category. There's a couple of things that I want, mainly the red card one. Just go ahead and show you guys really quick. Let's see, of course, the other method you can go with uh, besides that is, of course, spinning your bright dust, which is basically you go here and you move over one with your D-pad and the vendor will have a different piece each week. So in this case, this week they have the cloak and I don't recall what they had last week. And of course, do keep in mind that the armor is also based on RNG, so you may get some different rolls here. I'm actually pretty pleased with what I got with mine because I like using the bow. Uh, as you can see, I have it as my primary and secondary weapon slot, but again, here is a 360 degree turn here, and this armor set looks very, very well done, and there's some really cool shader options you can get. Now, normally, I don't bother with the random stats because, again, they're random, but to showcase what I've gotten with mine so far is the precision weapon targeting, along with the bow reloader, and then we have the bow reserves, arrow scavenger, and unfortunately, nothing for the cloak. And then the newest bow that I recently got today in a random drop is this one, which this has a draw time decrease after every precision hit and just looks very, very cool. Uh, moving on over to the shader options, of course. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Uh, there's a couple that we're going to go ahead and start with. Uh, the first one is the Indigo Matrix. And again, with this armor set and shaders in mind, you can actually get some pretty cool looking... Um, well, details on this thing. Next one is a pretty neat one, is the Mercury Vex Chrome. There you guys go. And there is one that I tried out that actually reminds me of Deadpool as far as its appearance. I'm trying to remember which one it was. I think it was the Crimson Valor. So this one, in a way, gives me a Deadpool vibe. So if you've always wanted to look like Deadpool, and uh, this will probably be the closest way you can go about it. Let's see what else we got here. Let's go ahead and try on a few more. Let's go ahead and see the camouflage options. We have the Arctic Dreamscape. All right, so you do get a little bit of the uh, digital camouflage pattern going on. And this one actually looks pretty cool. I'm pretty amazed with uh, the amount of shaders going really well with this thing. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pick another one at random. Let's see, this one's a new one, the Metallic Sunrise. Not sure where this one drops from, but hopefully we get something good with this. Okay, so you get a little bit more of a darker tone with uh, the little metallic finish going around. So definitely not half bad. And let's go ahead and check out one more before ending out this video. Um, let's see, what should we pick? Uh, Midnight Hellas, Dawning Hope. Uh, let's go with the Escalation Protocol shader. So again, very good shader options with this armor set. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Like I said, this armor, I think in my opinion, looks great on the Hunter. I have yet to check it out on the other two characters, but eventually when I finish off the Hunter, I will work on the Warlock and Titan. Until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.